downtown Cartersville. Um, I'm Jessica Brock with the Downtown Development Authority. I do marketing and promotions here for downtown. Um, we're spending some time at the farmer's market this morning every Saturday from 7 a.m. to 12 and then Wednesdays from 4 to 8. Um, we've got a lot of great farmers. We have about 60 vendors at our farmer's market. Um, we've got fresh local produce. We have some artisan crafts, jams, jellies. We have a wonderful lady from Czechoslovakia who does um, baked goods and breads and things like that. So this morning is really exciting. We have Johnny Mitchell Smokehouse out. They're doing some cooking demonstrations for us. We, um, we're really trying to just kind of work up the farmers market and show people what they can do with the produce that they buy at the market. So Johnny is here today just to demonstrate what you can do with some of them using spices and rubs and things like that. So that's exciting for us to just show, you know, maybe people who aren't used to buying eggplant or, you know, what can I do with squash and things like that. So Johnny's going to show us some things there. And then we've got music. We're doing music just to make it exciting as you walk through the farmer's market and enjoy some nice music. So from 10 to 12, we do that. Um, downtown is a really fun place. If you're coming to visit, we've got lots of great attractions. We are um, at a historic downtown and we have been a Main Street program for 30 years. So we're gonna celebrate our 30th birthday next year. But we have two Smithsonian affiliate uh, museums. We have the Telescience Museum and the Booth Western Art Museum. We have Red Top Mountain where you can come and you can camp and you can do fun stuff there. Um, so if you're coming to do that over the weekend, you know, come see us Saturday morning and buy from our local farmer's market. You can find some really great stuff, maybe even get a cup of coffee while you're down. Um, we've got Lake Point Sports, and so they're bringing a lot of great people to Cartersville for ball games and lots of stuff. So Cartersville is really exciting right now. We love it um, here. and. We want you to come visit. Come see what we have. Hello folks, I'm Johnny Mitchell with Johnny Mitchell Smokehouse. We are down here in Cartersville, Georgia at the Farmer's Market. We paired up with the Downtown Development Authority today to uh, highlight our farmers. We're going to be cooking some samples, making soups and veggies and just having a good time. So come on down here and, and eat some great food and see what you can do with local grown organic produce. Alright, good day folks. We are down here at the Farmer's Market. Johnny Mitchell here. We are going to make a purple hole pea soup. So all this this is grown in Bartow County right here, having a good time. So you start out with about a gallon of water. We're going to take our shell purple hole peas that's, that's already been done for us to save some time here. We're just going to add them straight to the water. And these are fresh. These are very, very fresh. I mean, these were just picked. So what we're going to do now, we've got a little bit of grilled onion. Uh, what we can do in a restaurant is caramelize them. It takes a little bit more longer uh, to do that, but it's a great way to um, add flavor. Just grill them up those fine, chop them up, put them right in there with that. We're going to add a little bit of veggie stock in the restaurant. We make it from scratch. Right now we're going to show you just take a little bit of Norvillon, something like that. Yeah. yeah, we'll get it. We're going to add that to it. Start getting us a good base down. We're going to let that start to simmer a little bit. As this starts cooking down, you can see how rich and dark that, that broth is going to get. Is this finished on the left? This is the one on, on, on my right. That's the one that's finished. Um, you can see you've got some grilled onion. We're also going to add a little smoked garlic. Now the smoked garlic, you can do roasted garlic in the oven. Uh, just cut cloves off, let it caramelize inside, put a little salt on it. What we've done in, in the, uh, we do this by the gallons in the restaurant. So we take garlic, a little bit of soy, a little bit of olive oil, cook it in the smoker so we get a nice, good, um, deep umami from that, blend it up, and then we add it to a lot of things in the restaurant. Sorry, Chef. No, you're fine. And then this is so simple to do. These peas are so good. The only thing you need to do now is finish it off with a little bit of rub. You can do using any seasoning salt right here. As that comes to a boil and starts cooking down, you'll see how, how 
dark it gets, how beautiful it gets. This is a great dish. Now we're going to do a relish. We're actually going to make a relish to go along with this. We're going to do a green tomato relish. Can I get you a taste of the soup? Would you like a taste of the soup? Yeah. And again, we're down here just promoting our farmer's market. We're so glad that everybody's here. Got people coming out, buying vegetables. So green tomato relish, you can't have without green tomatoes. So we'll take some green tomatoes we've already diced up. A little bit of purple onion. So we're doing like a cup, eighth of a cup. Everything will be online for you to follow. We're going to do a little bit of red bell pepper. A little apple cider vinegar. We're going to put a couple of tablespoons in there. Now to control that acid and balance it out, we're going to put a little bit of sugar in there. A little trick, now I'm using granulated sugar here, but you can use powdered sugar. It really dissolves quick if you're in a really big hurry. So about a tablespoon. A little bit of salt. All right, we're also going to put a little bit of splash of Tabasco in here. Just a splash. You don't want it hot. You just want a back note of flavor. You can use any pepper sauce that you'd like in that. And a little black pepper. Look how simple it is. And I want to tell you, as this sits together and marinates up, it is very, very delicious. So as you get, it, get you a little bowl of soup, take a little teaspoon of this and put on top. Really gives a nice contrast, gives some nice crunchiness to it, and it is really, really delicious. All right, guys, we're back here at the farmer's market. We have grilled some corn off here. You can smoke your corn, bake it, roast it, whatever you want to do. Uh, we just want to, it takes about 20 minutes to 300 on these grills right here. You can cook it lower on a smoker, about 225 uh, degrees, takes about an hour. Know your cooking source. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this corn, we're going to take a little bit of the zucchini. We're also going to take some yellow squash we've cooked. Remember, cooking is all about flavors and textures, and uh, you want to get things for cooking wise about the same thicknesses and everything. But for assembly in your meal, remember it's great to have different sizes, different textures. You want to have a, a, a great array of flavors, and, and when you buy it into vegetables, we're going to combine this with some raw squash we've already got diced up over here. All right, so we're going to take that. We've grilled this with just a little bit of olive oil salt and pepper. The corn we did a little bit of olive oil and also put our rub on it. In this dish we've got a, a whole yellow squash uncooked that's raw right there on bottom. Okay so this is a great great side dish. It can be used as an entree. Alright we're going to take also some um, so little grape tomatoes and what I've done I've cut them into slivers nice little different flavor profile there we're going to put a little bit of uh, basil paste in here you can use fresh basil I would have used fresh basil today except they didn't have any uh, back out so we're just going to use a little bit of uh, 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 paste right here all right so now we're going to toss this together we're going to put a little salt A pinch of coriander. We're going to mix all this together. Beautiful colors. Great summer dish. Or end of summer dish in this case. That's right, getting into <laughs> summer, that's exactly right. This Labor Day weekend. 
And we've made a dressing here. Now what this dressing is, is chopped basil. We've got a little bit of lemon juice. We've got a little bit of mayo. We have local grown honey and just a little bit of salt and a lot of uh, um, olive oil. Everything's written down over here for everybody to use. And we're going to incorporate all this in here. I see that. You see these ingredients are fairly simple. But it's just a wonderful, wonderful side dish, main course, salad. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to make a salad out of it because I can. We're going to use arugula. Arugula is a nice peppery, peppery blend. So we're going to make a salad out of it here today. You could actually heat this up, wilt it down, even with the lettuce in there. But we're going to serve it to you just like this here. That makes me hungry. You can serve this with a meat protein or not, and, and I personally would just eat this just like it is. All right, hey folks, Johnny Mitchell here from Johnny Mitchell Smokehouse. We are down here at the Cartersville Farmer's Market, still cooking away with local produce that we're going to uh, make for you today. We've made a, um, a purple whole pea soup. Uh, we've done a beautiful salad with grilled vegetables, and now we're going to do a sauce vierge. And uh, this is kind of a French style sauce, but you know what? We're going to use it in Georgia, make it beautiful with these beautiful tomatoes and everything we got. So what we've done is added some, about a cup of olive oil. We're going to add oh about a quarter of diced tomatoes that we've already deseeded or partially deseeded for you. That wonderful! Look at that. Got some fresh diced onion here. We're going to let that simmer for a minute or two down here. This sauce is a very simple sauce, but it's also a very delightful sauce. As long as you can get fresh tomatoes, you can do this about any time of the year you want. So she goes ahead and she comes back and she takes a few bites and it's real good. There's not a lot to, uh, of complication to these recipes. We want to make it easy for you. Uh, we want you to tear it home, change them. We promote you by local. So we're going to let that start cooking down a little bit. We've got fresh parsley, fresh cilantro. There's no bad or good from dried to, to, to fresh, just application. Something like this, it's always good to use a fresh. Using a heavy super stew, I like to use dried. Cilantro. We use a little bit more coriander in this one. <laughs> coriander is the seed from the cilantro plant. It's ground, it's got a nice citrus flavor to it. Very good. We're going to do a little pepper. A little salt. You'll find these recipes over here on our sheet. You're welcome to take a picture of it, carry them home. Very simple. I've had a great time with fresh tomatoes this year. The BLTs, making sauces, tomato and cucumber, you know, just, just a bunch of different things this year. All right. See those herbs and they start getting in there.
again, if I talked to my friend from Barbecue TV, he could have brought me some fresh basil. But I didn't have any up here, so we got some basil paste. We add a little bit of basil paste to that. Just checking my sauce. Needs a little bit more salt. And a little secret, just a little bit of uh, chicken bouillon, give it some umami. Now, this sauce can be used to make a protein with, it can be used for bruschetta. We've got some bread, fresh bread, that we've actually got grilling that we're going to make some bruschetta with. And this is fresh made bread from the foreign chick right next door to us right here. We're going to add a little bit of lemon juice to it. Juice of one lemon. Hello, we're, we're going to be sampling here in just a second. How are you doing? This is the foreign chick spread, yes. Oh, she makes good stuff. Yes, she does. Wonderful. This is sauce vierge. All right, so as the tomatoes start cooking down, We've got one pound of our big uh, diced shrimp. And we've taken a large 21 to 25 count shrimp and just cut them down for bite size for this application. This is a great dish. We, we made this for a chef's table and we did this over scallops. Just grilled scallops that were good. Um, Gulf Coast seafood is some of the best. You can do this with light fish, do this with chicken. Um, I find uh, they're, they're gone. They're gone. I find that we get those more toward the first of the year. And, and I want to tell you, Georgia Atlantic shrimp are some of the best shrimp in the entire world. Look at that. This is a great sauce. Shrimp going to not take long, probably five minutes. And this really? sauce will be done. Right. All right, so we've got our shrimp and everything's cooked. It only took about five minutes, folks. So right now, you know, we could serve this over top of just about anything. You can put it over a big old bed of rice. So we're going to take a sauce for yours and just do it on some bruschetta. This is a homemade wheat bread that has been cooked uh, by the foreign chick next door to us here. We'll let some of that sauce get in there. I bet we got two people right here. Here you go, folks. I know that you guys will help us out here, won't you? Yes. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to turn All right, this. folks, so this is what we've got for today. Please support your local farmer's market no matter where you live. But come on down to Cartersville, Georgia, and see us. We'd love to have you here. You feel at home. Thank you.